Stuff here right now, yeah? This is stuff here right now. Yeah, I've never been through this portion. Yeah, many of the road is that one, I can't feel like a few. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So in the right up there. Take the next right toward Kafue Road, T2, then turn left onto Kafue Road. <coughs> Take the next left onto Kafue Road, T2. Continue on T2 for 7 kilometers. So yesterday I read through it once when before leaving work, oh. and then that side uh, time after the short meeting in the evening again I read through it until the up to the end. Okay. Uh, that's right. It was can be, it was can be. You know when you're actually writing the stuff yourself, you miss out things. Yeah. So it's nice to have uh, some girls and uh,
Japanese, right? Yeah, you people yeah. normally talk a lot. Uh, <laughs> it almost sounds like they're the ones that are yeah. driving things, but to visit a place like UTH and you really appreciate the way that people are building. So both both uh, second, third years and first years, you work in that same. Yeah, we sit in that same. Uh, <coughs> but is, is that is that large enough to accommodate? Uh, no. Uh, what so? Wait, I don't know when everyone is back. What will happen? Yeah. Because at the moment we only have about uh, six or so slots, right? Who are from the hospital because of the splitting. Uh -huh. And then we have the office for Dr. Delia. She went back to Ukraine. She's been out for a long time. Okay. Uh, because her husband is unwell. Okay. Uh, so we have one person sitting in that office. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's another room which was supposed to be for the uh, office for Dr. Chisha, who has been sent to this new hospital. Uh, uh -uh has been sent to this uh, specialized hospital near airport. Oh, the second specialized hospital. Uh, so the, that office is also vacant. Another person sits there. Okay. And then one person sits at the ultrasound because there you have to actively scan yourself. Mm. Yeah. That leaves about, uh, I think, three or so who will be in the is back if they say we should, we should all report for work at the same time. I guess we don't, I don't know. But uh, we're also supposed to start um, rotations. In fact, we've, we've already started. Okay. There's one who is attached to the same Dr. Chisha. Mm -hmm. So she reports directly there. Dr. Chisha uh, finished his general radiology and then went in sub-specialize in interventional radiology. In Inter what? Intervention. What, what does that mean? How oh, yeah. is that different from general radiology? That one has to do with the procedures. Uh, so you, it, it comes from the way to intervene. There's uh -huh. a problem and then you intervene. So for example, if uh, a patient comes, uh -huh. you do the scan and you find that there's a mass in the lung. Yeah. You need to biopsy that. Like cut a small piece to take for laboratory examination and identify what kind of growth it is. Right. Yeah, so that procedure of actually going into the lung to cut a piece, that's in part of intervention. So, so a, a person who specializes in, in that can actually do that. I, I, th I thought if you need to cut, cut a mass, you'd have to involve like a, a surgeon or something. In 400 yeah, so meters at the roundabout, take anymore. the second exit it's and stay on Cafeway Road, T2. It's not always like that now. Okay. Yeah, you can actually biopsy cases. It's funny. Uh, and an interventional radiologist. Yeah. Even from the liver, oh. you can go in and... And then you have sometimes... Maybe there's a, a blood clot sitting somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you can introduce a wire into a blood vessel, follow the blood vessel and reach that blood clot break it down so that it can pass and allow blood to re recanalize you mm -hmm. to open up the blood vessel. All that is part of interventional radiology. So very close to surgery. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like it actually. But you do things under radiological imaging, like yeah. dynamic view, you look like, like a video. So yeah. you are able to see where you are going using images generated by uh, x-rays. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Oh, you know those uh, nuclear boys and band are close. <laughs> okay. Just seeing this now for the first time. Our way back. Exit the yeah, roundabout onto Cathaway Road. Continue on T2 for it 3 kilometers. Um, okay, no, it will depend anyway. Because yeah, this is 140. We need to call Madame and find out if she can manage to pick those guys from school. What am I supposed to pick them? Uh, 1240. It's uh, about an hour.
we've seen it somewhere along the road, but I'm not it's sure. It's on this? Yeah. Uh, it's just along the road, on the right. It's on the right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, left. Right, so it's both sides. So I don't know which which one is which. You can do it pretty much. You can do it pretty much. You can do it Morning, sir. We're looking for the NIMA conference. Yeah. NIMA, the conference venue. Is yeah. it NIMA? NIMA. NIMA is okay. Yeah, yeah. Where is the, the conference room? This side. She's in a conference. Yes. She's in a tele conference. Yes. yes. Okay. Under which organization? Uh, I think Minister of Health. Okay. Oh, I'll have to go in and make a U turn. I can make a U turn. Make 
make a U-turn, then turn right. Turn right. We need a pen, right? Take the next left onto uh, Cathway uh, Road, T2. So you know where to... Well, I'll find, I'll ask. I really want you to get into this, so... Yeah. 